Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Redux React Toolkit with Firebase. Now we are going to add Redux Toolkit into your React project. So let's see how we are going to integrate the React Redux Toolkit into your project. So it's very easy. Let's go and check this one. React Redux Toolkit. Okay. And I have already implemented that one in the later series. So you can go and check out that one also, like how to integrate your Redux toolkit into your project. Uh, you can go and check my React series also. Here I have already updated how we are going to use it. So it's very simple and very easy. So I'll explain this one. So this is the uh, this is the template Redux. If you want to that you else, you can individually add npm install React Redux JS toolkit, right? You can add this one okay so after adding this one okay so let's see this is part of the redux toolkit api and this one let's go and check this one quick start production we have already see toolkit react redux okay you have already start uh, you need to install this one npm install this part now we are going to configure this app store.js. Let's see. I have already done this. So let's I will share you this one. So where we have the store.js file. So here we go. I have created the store.js source app store.js where we have configure store. See here we have Redux toolkit. Then we have a constant store configure store reducers. Here we have to pass all the reducers that we have created. So this all the reducers that I have created and this is a configure store, right? And these are all the components that we have used over here. Like this one, this is, you can see that reducers, features, all the data come to the features part, right? This is a staff reducers, this is a list, and this is the pages, okay? So you can see that, right? And all the reducers data will come up this one with the lead, lead reducer, staff, and the auth uh, reducer that we are using. So this is the integration that with the Redux toolkit in that part, right? So this is the integration which we have done. Okay. After that, we have to go with the, you need to provide this one app store provider into your index.js. So if we go and check this one index.js. Okay. So let me see you the index.js or app.js. So here we have the app.js file. Okay. Now we have an index.js file. So here you can see that we have added. You can see. We have provider React Redux. If you go and check this one, they have the store, they have a provider, right? App store, store, and the provider. We have added this one. And for that reason, we have added the provider, store, and store. Same thing, okay? The provider, store, and store, right? We have added here because all the things are wrapped in that part, right? So you need to configure like this one. After this, this is, this is the, that is the, the connectivity is done. The integration part is done. After that, we have to create the reducers and where we have to call the functions in that we are coming, going to learn in the coming video. So this is the basic integration that we are using. Okay. So once again, I'm going to repeat that what exactly we have done. Okay. So let's go and check this one. So first of all, you have to add npm install redux toolkit react redux right after the installation you need to configure the store into your app dot uh, here this part you need to go and create a new file that is called the store.js okay so you need to create the store.js file and do the stuff configure store this one and constant store all the reducers will come up this one right after this you have to go with the index.js file and you need to add that uh, part like store and the provider over here, right? This is the thing that we have done. So this is the integration of, you can see the installation of the React Redux Toolkit with the configuration into your React project. In the coming video, we are going to learn how to create the data in the Firebase with the help of the React Redux Toolkit. So be with me. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Have a great day.